no, no, David, no. This is so unprofessional. Are people already here? Oh, Kurva coming up. No, it's not gonna happen. Kurva. It's easy because there's just one bolt that is. Don't say that. Still no? What the f? Victory dance. What a professional. Thank you. David? Are we doing this? Yeah. All right, right all right, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. So, what is the plan for today? Uh, definitely it will be not boring. No. We have so much parts here to replace in our car. Uh, let's start from your right side. All right, what we have here, we have the brake discs. Okay. Then we have the... What, what brake discs we have? Bosch. Of course. Okay, is it front, rear? For the roof. Uh, who the f cares? <laughs> they are here. <laughs> they are here. Uh, front disc and the rear disc. All right. Then we have brake pads. Okay. Mm, these ones are the front. Front brake pads, yes. These are for the rear. Mm -hmm. You know how I made, made that assumption? Yes. Because the box is bigger. What we have in here? Brake shoes. Yeah. Brake shoes. All right. Then we have, let's put these aside for a second. We have the Oil pan gasket. You know how I know? Because I told you. All right, what else? What else? On the front, we have the tie rods. Okay. What's the correct word, yeah. word for yeah. these? Links right? for Links. stabilization. Right. For yeah. Of course, we have the set of the new wipers. Yeah. Steering rack uh, dust covers, yes. maybe the correct term. Anti dust covers. All right. With the, with the clamps, um, probably we will use some lubrication under it. Yeah. <laughs> then we have brake fluid, rocker cover, gasket and bolts in rocker cover, front and the rear covers, uh, mm -hmm. cups, uh, belts, uh, one is alternator bolt and another one is for the air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Then we have air filter uh, for the cabin air filter. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have inter a uh, air intake air filter. Yes. All right. Uh, set of the spark plugs, of course six because car is six cylinder. Oils from Motul, then there is the fuel filter. What else? Oil filter. Oh, of course, Head, oil filter. Headlights, the bulbs. Yes, uh, D2S, xenon lights. Um, we didn't forget anything. I no, guess. this is the set of parts that we are going to try to install today. Yes, but before we install, uh, we will clean a little bit under it. Uh-huh. So, there is nothing more that just to say, welcome to Ultimate Restoration Experience. Yes. All right, so let's clean this first. Yes, sir. Let's go disassemble the brakes. Cups first. Caliper bolts off. Wrong way. Metal scrap. Next, uh, housing. And it's out. Then, this out. It's easy because there's just one bolt that is... Don't say that, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, normally it's easy, but you know, the bolt can be stubborn. Let's see. Couple hits with the hammer. Yep. That was easy. That was easy. And metal scrap. Oy. Take it away. Take it away. So next, what we have to do is clean the wheel hub. <laughs> the big tools. Just like that. 
Once we remove the rust from the wheel hub, we have to protect it before it starts rusting again. So what's on your mind for that? Some copper paste. You know, you're really doing these, these jobs really, really, really good. No, of course. No room for cutting corners. No. Just a little film, not too much. Make it greasy so it uh, prevents the rusting and it will just last longer. And if there is any need for changing the brake discs in the future, the next guy will thank us for doing this. Yes. We haven't copper, but we use some bearing grease. So we are like almost ready to put the disc on its place. Let's see if I order the proper ones. <laughs> Let's hope. Oh no, there is. Free advertisement for Red Bull. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we have here? Can you see that? Yes. Oh, a new bolt. That's the huge one. Let's unpack, unpack it. Compare it. It's the correct one. It's the correct one. Happy? Mm -hmm. I have to clean, clean the housing. It's all right, all right, all right. Almost in there. Huh? You just stop flying off the car. Oh, of course. As you can see, uh, this tool not always was super easy and super nice. Yeah, but the tools has its years already. So those have seen everything. Standard. So next we can install the housing. This way. Let me check the torque. 110 newts. So those uh, caliper to carrier. Let's do that. All right. Unboxing. Okay. That's the tricky part. Curva. Next. Very important, once you clean those, remember to put some lubrication. Those are keeping the caliper in the carrier, uh, but they need to be, you know, working their smooth because it's, it's moving. Bit lubrication. That. Let's pull those ones. It's um, hex 7. We have to tie it with uh, 30 newton meters of torque. Okay, all right, all right, almost done. All right, that's the spring that's keeping the caliper before moving, and prematurely were the pads. Nice, we have done with this one. Let's go to the other side. That was really proper one. Okay, so uh, this side is uh, already done. Uh, let's go repeat uh, the operation on the other side. Was easy, like always. All right, so uh, this is uh, the rear brake disc. Uh, the operation is a little bit different as far as we have uh, brake shoes in the back. Those are for handbrake. Uh, those are working in this area and the uh, replacement is a bit different than in the front. Uh, at the end we have to adjust the free play of the brake shoes, so everything is working correctly. Okay, so let's take the spring first, like that. Then we have the brake wear sensor here. Okay, nice. Unplug it from here, covers. Up and down, just like that. Open our caliper, unbolt it. 
For that we'll need a uh, shorter cord. Ok, let's go back. We stuck. No curva. Don't show it. I, I'm, I'm telling you seriously. I have a better idea. What that mother Remove them for cleaning and lubrication. Of course. So much old grease on it. Let me see. Yeah. So cleaning and new grease. It's stuck. Even though they had some meat on the bone, but uh, you don't want to use them again. Shiny shit. Shouldn't be like that. All right, so let's take the another part. That one, that one, that one. No, 16. Where's the f***ing 16? Uh, not here. Not here and not here. Not here, not here. What the hell is that? Maybe it stays on the, somewhere on the other side. Uh, nope. Okay, it was too close. Just behind my eyes. Like always. Two bolts. 60 millimeters. Kurva mat. Then... We need to take the disc off. Yes. Same as in the front with just one bolt and off it goes. One bolt and this is off. <laughs> Not good. Wrong size. Let's see. We don't want to f*** this up. No, the size was correct. I think. No, I don't know. <laughs> Move. It was not. Yeah, size, size was correct, but... It's just really stuck in there, or then the, the bolt has been stripped in the past. Let's see, let's try to... Oh boy. Not looking good at all. Shit. Always trouble. Okay, don't break it. It's not going! Why is it always that the easiest jobs turn out to be the most challenging? I don't know. No, it's just one bolt away of having one weekend full of struggle. All right, David. What a professional. Thank you. Victory dance. <sighs> Let's take it off. This cool didn't work properly. Metal scrap. <laughs> Throw it away. What about the pads in here? They are looking pretty sorry for themselves. You want to keep them? <laughs> of course not. All right, so let's take the springs from here and here. I'm using for that two screwdrivers. Like that. And the other side. I'm just lifting it and take it away. Easy. Then let's take those. Um, this is holding to remove that. We need some hexagon. You just press it and twist it until you feel it's coming out. Oh, like that. And that's off. Off. Of course, stuck. Of course. Metal scrap. Same situation in here. Looking for the spot, removing the spring, and it's off. So easy, isn't it? The next step is, it's really good to check if this moving freely, nothing stuck in here. Okay, it's fine. Uh, then we clean the rust off from here, and we doing the assembly. Uh, important stuff, uh, check always if those um, hoses here are in good shape. Once you want to put springs back there, they may be too rusty, so it will pop off. They are fine. Let's go with the new parts. So brake shoes? Uh, yes. Going. This is uh, two different cuts. This cut is going to the free play. Both sides are going that way. There's so many people that hate doing those. I am one of them. Brake shoes? Yes. Well, then you are in a lock, lock because we have to do this for my E39 as well. All right. 
All right, good. Yes, and the next step is, this is the adjustment and it's right here. So to adjust the free play, it's working like that. You put, the, you're taking the bolt off from the wheel and you're taking the screwdriver through the hole here and you adjust like like that so it's expanding adjusting the free play and increasing it before you install that you compress it to the smallest one and then you adjust the free play i'll show you later how to do that so that part is going here and that part is going here then like of course everything is touched nicely in here yeah Okay, next uh, springs, the other one, what the visual effects, one more time check if everything is in its place, looking good, it's time to put the brake disc, it's not time for putting brake disc, everything first must be in the correct place, Let's try one more time. That's why I fing hate them. <laughs> what a situation. The other side went so smoothly and this one is... Yeah, it's always like this. Karate chop. Something like that. Still no! Cool with that. See? What the f? Not doing cooperation with that. Not today. Okay. Shit. You know the problem now? Yeah, I see. It doesn't want to go here. It's not deep enough. But. Let's see. No satisfaction with that lubrication? It's there. One more time to check. Maybe this time? It must. What I'm doing wrong? Not here, and not here, and not here. Maybe a little bit here. Hmm. Maybe that will do the trick. Maybe. Uh, I have to do it again. Again? Again and again. Remove. F Everything was so nice and smooth until now. I have a feeling that you already did this. Not this, two times. Just like with the transmission stuff. That won't go there. This. That's the problem. Yeah. Give it some satisfaction. No. Scrubbing. The rest of. Is it seeding better? Not. Just like that. So, just some karate and. Sometimes you have to use unconventional ways of doing things. But sometimes, not always. All right, do it again. Now it's... Oh, shit. All right, it's there. Why is it always with us? Everything is... Oh, shit. Oh, kurva. <laughs> because this is how the real mechanics looks like, you know? This, it's, it's not, you know, the flowers and the diamonds. Yeah, we want to show you the true story. The true story, you know? Uh. Of being here. Uh, no Hollywood shit. Oh, come on there. No. Okay. I could already hear oh kurva coming up. No, it's not gonna happen. Not in this channel. Nice. And check again if everything is on its place. Karate chop one more time. No. Break fluid. Wiping the grease, it's not break fluid. Brake cleaner. Okay, now it's gonna be easy. Third time, third time to jump. All right. It should happen like this in the first time. Then we need the bolt. I think I take the one old one from the front brake discs. You didn't get new one? For the rear ones, they weren't. That's not good. But that's good. That's still good, you know. Not rusty and and look decent. Use a review of the parts. Uh, we didn't get everything in the one package, so 
What do you say about that? Eight out of ten? No, well, I think in that situation, uh, Bosch was better. Mm -hmm. They give us new balls. If you want to go with new brake discs, use Bosch. Or not, because I'll just buy the new balls. Basically, I like the finish. Yeah, me too. Fabi oh, looks better. Looks better, I know. Our suggestion: buy that new bolt mm -hmm. if you change the discs. Mm -hmm. Brake saddle, or what is the na correct name for it? I think it's just the metal scrap. Okay, and then we use wrench so we can tie it in correct torque. It's 110. Then we have to adjust the caliper with my tools. And if uh, everything is uh, correct, that's really satisfaction to do that. Pressing the yes. piston? Yes, pressing the piston is satisfying. Everybody likes pressing the piston. It's always satisfying. So it's done. Very nice. Uh, brake pot. Yeah, it's sitting. Then another one here. It's sitting and caliper to the housing, whatever you call it. All right, then cleaning the rails, bolts. Why is it important to clean the bolts? So they can move freely. Important to clean from the old grease and important to adjust, apply the fresh brake cleaner. Fresh grease, you mean? Yeah, fresh grease. So they're working smooth. Nice. Right. All right. Okay. And okay. Changing the gloves. Oh no, last set of gloves. Well, luckily this is the last work we are doing today. Then we have to adjust the free play tomorrow. Uh, flush with the fresh uh, brake fluid on the system. And then we can say it's done. Then for tomorrow we have more than just that work scheduled. So it's going to be a late evening tomorrow as well. Yes, a bit, but you know, everything will be with satisfaction. Okay. Caliper to the housing, 30 meter meters. And okay, cups, important moment to remember so, those. Uh, so that you don't get dirt in there. Yes, and the spring. Voila! Done? No, but uh, at least we have replaced the brake disc all over the car. So we are done for the day. Tomorrow yeah. we continue with the maintenance. Ah, no, it's not done. Done. So this is the automatic uh, brake and clutch uh, bleeder. We will use this one for bleeding the, our brakes, uh, actually to flush our brake uh, fluid. With your brake fluid container, just in here in the corner, you attach this, this side, you're closing like a cup in here. And then other part is going to the uh, tire and taking the pressure from the tire. Remember to lower the pressure from the tire to 1.4 bar. It will, if it will be higher, everything will blow up. Important stuff, it must be level, so it suck all the fluid, no air. Of course, it's not that easy. And you can see the brake wheel already pushed in here. Next step, we are going to the back of the car because we are doing crossing. So we start from the uh, right wheel in the back left rear in the back, front wheel on the right side, and then uh, front on the left one. Let's go. Now we are in the back of the car, so we open the nipple. We can a little bit clean it. But we are not here for cleaning today. Okay, so it's the moment we pray that it doesn't break. Then we would face a similar situation that we faced with the A32. Don't even say that. Let's try at least. All right, it's open. Once you open it a bit, oi vitu perkele. Fuck. It's everywhere. Spill it. Okay, but it's it's open now. It's everywhere. So if you want to flush your brakes, you don't have to flush completely because what we want to do is to take the uh, filthy uh, brake fluid from the 
caliper. All the way it should be clean. Okay, so uh, small pipe, our tools are attached uh, to the reservoir. Next, we are going to flush it until we will see the clean break fluid is coming through. So no air bubbles and nasty shit coming from the pipe. Uh, the air bubbles shouldn't be here because we didn't open the system. Uh, we should hear the brown mm -hmm. uh, with um, so much dirt uh, mm -hmm. break fluid and we expect that at some point it will uh, push in the clean one. So we open the, we open the caliper and it's coming. Let's see how dirty it is. I'll adjust some pressure. As you can see, it uh, empty our bottle a bit. So still shit is coming. And this is not the color we want. It have to be almost transparent. So one is flushed. Let's go to other side. We have to fill more. I'm not definitely person with multitasking abilities. So I'm, I'm the real man, you know. It's done. Not much. About 150 milliliters. We go to the other side. Okay. See how dirty it was. It's not flowing. Slowly. Not enough pressure. Alright, second attempt. We try it again. Oh, black stuff coming. But not from the tube. I'm guessing that the brilliant system that we are having is not working. But then there's some pr troubles with this side. Try it again. Nothing. Go and press the brake. Oh, is there something? Arr, God damn it! I'm pressing the pedal. Anything? Yeah. More? Uh huh. You pressing or not? Now it's pressed. Pressing. It's continuously pressing. Press, release, press, release. Yeah. All right. Pressing? Yeah. Something pops off from from there. Yeah. Okay. We go to the front. And you see, it should go like this. It will change color soon. You see it? Mm hmm. It's getting there. So not that much crap in the here. It's usually the back side that is full of crap. Last one. So I'm opening the caliper bleeder nipple. It's coming with brown like oil. It must be light blue. Soon we have to add more. No, we don't have to. All right. Because we finished. All right. And now we will adjust the free play of the handbrake. So I'll show you how the fresh one looks like. And I'll show you what we get from calipers. Oh my goodness. Nice. No, not really. That's that's horrible looking. That's like your hangover morning piss. What's next? Uh, handbrake fitly. First, ensure that it's lowered. Talking about the handbrake? Yes. Then we have to spot our adjustments. Okay, it's here. I can tell you my method. Let's go adjust it. Moving it. Adjust it. Wrong. That doesn't sound promising. This is usually the case in our workshop. Nothing is ever easy. I don't have to work on my knees. So you just noticed it now. Sometimes you're just too busy thinking about the small details. Oh, for <laughs> sakes! God damn it! That's not good. Let's try to see if you get it. All right, it's... Well, there it goes. One of your favorite tools. Yes. All right, it's starting to look like, once again, not the day for us. I'm pissed off already. It's moving? Mm -hmm. This is it. My screwdriver! Not a happy boy we have here. I'm repeating the process on the other side. Let's hope that this side doesn't give the same fight that you just experienced. Moving. And I just job done. Always some struggles. Always some struggles.